Hi everyone. Today I will show you how to remove objects from your um, uh, videos. There are a couple of ways that you can do that. I've searched online for many tutorials. You can duplicate the video that you want to remove the object from, then use uh, shape masks, then opacities, you know, it's overly complicated. Um, I've tried two plugins, I don't want to be bragging about it, but the two plugins that I found that are most popular, also very hard to use. Um, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but for the simple thing that I wanted them to do, it was too much uh, of an effort, too hard to track, and uh, I think Final Cut by itself provides all you need. So these two here, left and right, I have those holes in my background that I forgot to tape with white tape so they're not visible. So I'm gonna show real quick how to um, get those out of your image. And like I said, we're gonna use only Final Cut Pro, nothing else. So the first thing, you have to analyze your, uh, your uh, uh, video and see which area you wanna use as a patch. The patch is the one that will cover this hole. So for me, it's very easy. I'll just use my screenshot tool and I'm just going to create a patch relative to the size, relative to the size of uh, the hole. So this patch now, I'm going to import it. I'll wait for it to save. I'll just copy to every. So here is our patch. And what, what next I do is I will just drag it on top at the start of where my removal needs to start and I need it all the way yeah but actually like that and uh, next I'm gonna I need to size it properly so I'll do four percent so you see that and then we'll enable transform and we'll put it right on top of the hole you can turn off transform and you can see the the hole is gone now the next thing is we need to enable again transform once we're liking what we're seeing we need to enable tracker i'm going to put the tracker right on top where the hole is and i'm just going to hit analyze and the tracker will analyze it now when i turn off the transformation and i play the the video you see the hole is gone that's the easiest and the fastest way to do it of course e Sometimes, like here, for example, up to here, the the hole is, uh, the patch is not visible, but from this point, you start seeing it more and more. So what you can do is, what you can do is, you can put keyframes. So you need to do a, a color board. Then you need to do, you need to go, uh, you need to enable the col color board, and you need to go to up to here and create a keyframe so that thing then we'll move up to the last to the last uh, frame and you can see the, the square that i did is a little bit visible so what we need to do is just darken it a little bit it blends perfectly fine that creates a keyframe so when we play it now it's almost invisible. You can fine tune it more and more. Now the trick is for the next hole, if I'm gonna just use uh, the same technique, add a new, um, add a new uh, patch area, then do the same thing, uh, make it smaller, cover that other hole. But the trick here is uh, the you cannot have two tracking objects on the same uh, video file so i'll show you what, what will happen so i'm gonna go here enable navigate uh, transformation then the tracker you see the tracker okay like that and if we hit track analyze it's not gonna work it doesn't like it so I found out that you need to make, I'm going to revert what I did earlier and uh, we have only this patch uh, 
correctly done. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to select all this. We need to do a new compound clip, name it whatever we want. Now you can add the patch again and it will work just fine. Uh, let's go back first to uh, make the size proper, 4%. Uh, put it on top there. Uh, and this one will have to be, let's see, yes. Okay, so to here. So we'll just trim it. Now, we need to enable again the, the tracker. We're going to put it right on top of it. We're going to hit analyze. It will analyze the the the, uh, the bad area that we want to remove. Disable this, and you will see that the patch now moves together with um, with the hole. Now, again, we're going to repeat the procedure of matching, blending that patch. Um, the best way is every time you want to do a new patch, do do a new screenshot of the area next to the hole, for example. Uh, like like I did, but I wanted to show you that I can do it even with one patch. I'll go to the color board, blend it properly, play and, and make sure it's it's smoothly done, and yep, it's all gone. So that's how you do it. And if I want to continue doing it for those two holes, uh, the reflections, again, I need to do a new compound clip. Do okay add the patching and so on and so on it's hard to be tracked so I'm, i want to show you what will happen if i track it now zoom, zoom. so we will have tracker we'll put uh, right on top of it make it small enough hit analyze it's gonna produce an error it's not tracking it properly so what you want to do is you want to go to object tracking, delete it. You don't need trackers. This one we're going to do manually. So first, uh, first thing first is um, we need to enable at the start point. You have to enable uh, the first keyframe, which is like that. And after that, you will at every excessive motion, you want to put another Oh, cool. yeah. so at the beginning, we want to add a keyframe. So we're right at the beginning of the object removal area. The patch is selected. We're going to manually track it and enable the first keyframe for our position. You're looking for excessive motion. Every time you have excessive motion, you need to stop and move your uh, patch area. So you see here, and do this. You see, it's so it's so hard to even track it with our eyes that the computer has have no chance of uh, tracking by itself. And we go one frame back, and the last one. Boom. So when we play it. Now it's gonna move together with uh, with the hole. It's almost perfect. Oh, we need more action. Our clip needs to be up to here, so we need to extend that. Now, uh, and then from this point on, we need to move it again up. Now to the right, now we'll go to the end of it, it's probably right there. Now, let's uh, track the motion, yeah, it's almost perfect, uh, you can see I've tracked it manually with no problem. Um, so next I need to blend the color, I need to disable transformation uh, option, go to your color boards. Right now it's not going to let you do a keyframe, so you need to enable color board, go to exposure, at the very beginning, 
we need to correct it before we do a keyframe so we're gonna blend it I think that's good you can play a little bit more with uh, with the blending I think that's good enough and we will enable keyframe so from that point on we're gonna see if if we need to do anything else yeah we need to do a little bit here like that again you can uh, you, right here it's it's not right where it's supposed to be I can enable that and I can tell you you know what you need to move to here so now it's going to track it perfectly fine perfect perfect oh, we have another one like that we enable again the transformation move it it creates automatically a keyframe for us so it's perfectly matched uh, we need to we need to play with the coloring now here I think it needs to be a little bit darker yeah. like that is good enough for the example yeah, here we have to have to blend it better like that and like that I think I think you can just do like this there we go so now you can see it's all gone all manually done we achieved it completely by ourselves and Final Cut Pro that's all thank you for watching